hey youtubers something pretty damn cool so i'm on the deck again not the dick again the deck not the dick being silly ass look at the big ass cigar so i'm on the deck right now not the dick obviously being silly ass look at the big ass cigar so yeah being silly ass look at the big ass cigar deck not dick anyway being silly ass look at the big ass cigar anyway i'm smoking a hashtag big ass cigar right now look at that big ass cigar Anyway, uh, the house of keeping, uh, smoking this uh, Gurkha cigar, nice big ass cigar, uh, as in the big ass cigar for life. Uh, Gurkha Castle Hall, same shit as yesterday. Yeah, same, same shit as yesterday. Anyway, uh, just getting on camera right now. Uh, uh, just shooting the shit right now. You know, shooting the shit right now. Uh, anyway, shoot the shit right now. Uh, uh, obviously never demonetized video, demonetized video, so fuck shit whatever, so yeah, fuck shit whatever. Anyway, I just had dinner, so nice big ass dinner like the big ass cigar. Yeah, I just had pizza for dinner, so nice big ass pizza like the big ass cigar. Yeah, so dinner was good. Uh, we had dinner from a pizza place, a local pizza place. Uh, not going to mention the name because I don't want to dox myself. Anyway, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video earlier of the uh, Carolina Reaper hot salsa. So uh, that's a nice big ass salsa, like the big ass cigar. Uh, I love salsa. I don't eat it as often as I used to, uh, but I love salsa. Now, salsa is actually pretty healthy. It's actually pretty healthy. My nutritionist, my old, my old nutritionist, nice big ass nutritionist, like the big ass cigar. Uh, excuse me, said uh, salsa is pretty healthy. There's really nothing in it that's bad. A little bit of salt. There's a little bit of salt in salsa. But overall, salsa is one of those foods you can eat like as much as you want for the most part and you don't really gain weight. I mean, don't take that as like obviously like cred credible advice, but um, salsa is very low in calories. Like the entire bottle of salsa is probably like, I don't know, like two or 300 calories. So very low amount, probably less than that. There is salt. So keep that in mind, you know, there's fucking salt. So uh, salt raises your blood pressure so you probably want to watch how much you eat because it can raise your blood pressure i mean even hot sauce you know fucking hot sauce has a little bit of salt in it so you want to watch how much you eat especially if you have if you have high blood pressure like me if you have high blood pressure like me and you're on blood pressure medication you do want to watch that, sh that shit as in bullshit is bullshit you know as in bullshit is bullshit you know because obviously it is a little bit of salt and you are consuming sodium, so you want to watch that. So, but aside from that, salsa is very healthy. Has tomato, tomatoes, <coughs> has uh, onions, has uh, peppers, not peckers. Peppers, not peckers. Yeah, peppers, not peckers. Being silly ass like a big ass cigar, being a doofus, whatever. So yeah, peppers, not peckers, and um, it, it's very, very healthy for you overall. So yeah, salsa is very damn healthy. Uh, I know that whatever. So you know, the dickhead trolls might disagree. The dickhead trolls might disagree, but whatever. So we don't pay attention to, to dickhead trolls. Dickhead trolls are bitches or bastards, you know. Ooh, shit. Got some ash on me. Not ass on me, but ash. Ash on me, not ass on me. Yeah, that would be nice. Being silly ass like a big ass cigar. Yeah, ass on me. Being silly ass like a big ass cigar. Anyway, so just a ramble video right now. So, uh, yep, smoking that big ass cigar. Just had dinner. I had pepper pepperoni and mushroom pizza. So, uh, yeah, pepperoni and mushroom pizza. And it's kind of funny when I ordered, I'm not going to mention the name of the place because I don't want to dox myself. I also don't want to dox the company, whatever. Not really dox them, but not really mention the name of the place. So my dad and my mother got, uh, and I paid this time. It's my turn to pay. 
my de- my father and my mother got a gluten-free uh, pepperoni and mu- no, no, not sorry. My father and my sorry, scrap that shit. My father and mother got a large pepperoni and mushroom pizza, and they're not gluten-free. So large pepperoni and mushroom pizza, and I got a gluten-free pepperoni and mushroom pizza. But the way the guy interpreted what I was saying was half pepperoni, half mushroom. I was like, okay. So my pizza, my freaking pizza, had half the pizza pepperoni, half the pizza mushroom. Not mushrooms, obviously not that kind of mushrooms. And, um... And then my father and mother's pizza had it spread out. You know, the pepperoni mushrooms spread out. So I'm not sure why the guy interpreted what I was saying as half pepperoni, half mushroom. While my, my, I clearly said pepperoni mushroom. I didn't say half pepperoni, half mushroom. I said gluten-free pepperoni and mushroom. So that's kind of weird. So it's not really a big deal because it's, it's the same shit, you know. The same shit, as in bullshit is bullshit, you know. But it's kind of weird because I didn't say half pepperoni, half mushroom. But I didn't really want to get, I really didn't want to get into the discussion with the guy because the guy was, you could probably tell, eh, you know, his first language was probably not English, you know, no offense, not trying to be racist, you're not trying to be racist. But you could tell his first language was probably not English. And you could also tell that, um, you know, he was trying his, he was trying his best. He was trying his damnedest and his hardest, you know, and I'm not trying to be, you know, whatever, like, you know, against anybody, but, you know, uh, yeah, so not a really, not really that big of a deal, but I would prefer, I would prefer in the future that my uh, gluten-free pizza have the pepperoni and the mushroom, uh, you know, spaced out throughout the pizza, you know, uh, spread out through the pizza. Now, I'm not a picky eater. I'm not, I'm not a picky eater. I know people who are picky eaters, uh, picky eaters, not dicky eaters, not dicky eaters, uh, but yeah, dicky eaters, uh, yeah, being silly ass, like a big ass cigar. Uh. You know, I'm not, I'm not a picky eater, so um, I'll eat pretty much anything that's gluten-free, so with very few ex- exceptions here and there, so I will eat pretty much anything, so it's not a big deal to me, but it might be a big deal to somebody else. You know, somebody else who's a more picky eater, and I do know of somebody, not going to mention their name, not going to dox them, whatever, you know, who's a much pickier, pickier eater, and obviously to them it might be a big deal. And obviously you have the occasional like Karen who might come, like asshole might come in, you know, the occasional like Karen, uh, you know, customer who might come in, uh, who might really like throw a shit fed and really complain and really bitch about it. So really bitch about it. Uh, you know, I'm not picky about food. I'm not somebody who's picky about what I eat. Um, you know, I'll eat pretty much anything. I mean, there's, there's very, very few foods I won't, I won't, uh, eat. So it doesn't really matter to me personally, but to some people like the Karen stereotype of uh, somebody who's a real bitchy woman or somebody who's a real asshole guy, it might really matter to them personally. So I'm just saying, you know, in the future, you might want to pay a little bit more attention when you're on the phone, air quote, because, you know, some people, you know, some people might give it, you know, have an issue with it, throw a beef over it. I'm not going to throw a beef over it, but I mean, some people might throw a beef over it, even though it's a very small detail, very small detail in general. You know, I'm not somebody who's picky. I'm not somebody who's going to like, you know, turn them down, whatever, or like not tip them, whatever. That's just being a real dick, real, being a real asshole, real, you know, fucking asshole in general. If you don't tip the people, you're being a real fucking asshole in general. But I mean, it's like, yeah, so I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. I gave them a $3 tip and I also, you know, paid with my debit card. Obviously you you have to pay for your food. You have to pay for your food, you know, but I'm just saying there are some people, air quote, some people who might you know, really throw a shit fit over it. So, uh, you know, just be careful, you know, be careful, be fucking careful. It's like, you know, uh, mm-hmm. 
Anyway, <clears throat> so, yeah, tomorrow I go back to my apartment, my nice big-ass apartment, like a big-ass cigar, not a poop menta, not a poop menta, apart menta, and not a poop menta, poop menta, big-ass poop, like the big-ass cigar. So, I go back home tomorrow, I work my usual schedule, my typical-ass schedule. I work, <clears throat> I work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, I work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. And then I'm actually off. What's actually interesting is I'm actually off until Monday next week. So uh, Wednesday is my last day this week. And then, uh, you know, this coming week. And then I'm off until Monday. I'd say, well, why the hell is that? You know, why the hell is that? And the answer is because I'm going to my cigar shop next Sunday. So next Sunday I took pay time off. Yeah, next Sunday I took pay time off for PTO, and yes, I'm allowed to do that. I am legally allowed to do that. Part-time associates can take pay, pay time off or PTO in Massachusetts, you know. So I took pay time off for PTO because I'm going to my cigar shop. So yeah, next Sunday I'm going to my cigar shop, wash the cigar, and I'll be smoking a couple nice big ass cigars there. So. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Get to see my tobacconist, nice big ass tobacconist, like the big ass cigar. Whew, smoky. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to going to my tobacco shop. And that'd be nice, buy a couple of nice big ass cigars and the big ass cigar of life. And uh, smoke a couple there. And then I'll, yeah, so I'll have the day off on Sunday. I know the dickhead trolls are already writing their comments uh, saying, you know, being total bitches and bastards, saying, uh, oh, you lazy bum, you took pay time off, you lazy bum, get a real job, you lazy ass fucking bum. You know, screw those guys, you know, fuck those guys, whatever. It's like, you know, so uh, obviously trolls are trolls, they're bitches, they're bastards, you know, so. Uh, yeah, so I'm very excited to go to my cigar shop. Uh, nice big ass cigar shop like the big ass cigar a lot of people ask me what kind of shop it is i'm not gonna get too much into this because of youtube's rules but uh, a lot of people ask me if it's like a bar if this shop is like a bar and the answer is no it's not a bar it's not a cigar bar like uh, a lot of people ask me if it's like is it like a bar the lounge and it's not a, a bar so the shop does not have a liquor license they don't allow alcohol in the premise so it's not a bar it is basically a old-fashioned tobacco shop, and basically, um, they have you know not they they don't have they don't have a walk-in humidor, which kind of sucks, you know that kind of sucks. They don't have a walk-in humidor, but they have cases of cigars, and then they have a display of pipe tobacco, and then they have behind the counter the you know, little cigars and the cigarettes and the uh, roll your own stuff. And then they don't sell smokeless. They don't sell smokeless there. And they don't sell hookah tobacco anymore because as a 2020 all flavor tobacco outside of a smoking bar is banned in Massachusetts. And then they have a little back room where I smoke. Basically has a TV, has a coffee pot, not pot as in this, but a coffee pot. And people bring like muffins and bagels and donuts, you know, fucking donuts, you know, and like bring like, I don't know, cookies and cakes. You're not allowed to bring alcohol. You're not allowed to bring alcohol. Uh, and you're, you can bring like water and like juice and like, you know, coffee and tea and like a soda. So, and basically people will sit around and talk and smoke cigars and occasionally people will smoke pipes. So uh, that's basically where the shop is. And uh, yeah, so I've been going there for years. So uh, it's not a bar though, it's not a cigar bar. So uh, it's not like a bar where people sit at a bar and like uh, drink, you know, beer and wine and hard liquor and cocktails, not cock as in cock, but um, you know, cocktails, you know, it's not like a cigar cocktail bar. So. Uh, I also had somebody ask me a long time ago, and I'm not sure if I ever answered this question, I'm gonna answer it right now. 
is a lot of people ask me when I used to buy gas station cigars, like, uh, you know, the, the Cigarellos, like the Black and Milds, yeah, Cock Flavor Black and Milds, uh, you know, like Black and Milds, Swisher Sweets, Garcia Game, uh, Phillies Blunts, you know, White Owls, you know, Swishers. A lot of people ask me, when I go to buy those like a gas station, are they behind the counter with the cigarettes or are they uh, in front of the counter? And the answer is in Massachusetts or Massachusetts, basically we have a self-service ban. So essentially, if a tobacco, sh if a shop, if a shop, a store, a fucking store is not entirely 21 plus, everything has to be kept behind the counter and the humidor has to be locked. People think that's only in Canada and Europe or in Australia. Nope, that's in the United States also. So there are states, uh, Massachusetts is one of them, where everything has to be behind the counter unless the entire place is 21 plus. The store I, the store I work at, uh, the grocery store where I work at, when we used to sell cigarettes, we don't sell cigarettes anymore, uh, but we, when we used to sell cigarettes, they were kept in a locked drawer under the counter, and people say, oh, that's only in Canada they do that. That's only in Canada they do that. Uh, nope, that's in the United States also. That's in the United States also. Uh, basically, they're, they were kept in a locked drawer under the counter off display. And uh, yeah, so because my smoke shop that I go to is entirely 21 plus, you have to be 21 to be in the establishment, and essentially that includes baby carriages, baby strollers. Uh, you can't bring anyone under 21 in the establishment period. And they check everyone's ID who looks under 30. Essentially, yeah. So essentially uh, they can, basically the humidors can be unlocked. They can be unlocked in the, in the place. And essentially, but the cigarette, the cigarettes, the roll your own, and they don't sell smokeless, but um, if they did sell smokeless, it would be behind the counter. So uh, behind the, and the gas station cigars are behind the counter also. So uh, they're kept behind the counter per federal law. So uh, per federal law, they're kept behind the counter. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, the cigars are allowed to be displayed, um, you know, self-service, but the entire business is 21 plus. Uh, the entire business is 21 plus. Uh, you can't even bring, bring like a baby stroller in there. So... Uh, And that's what the place is. So that's to answer the question of, you know, when I go to buy, if I, if, if I hypothetically were to buy a, a, a gas station cigar, for example, a gas station cigar, it would be behind the counter. I would have, they would have to get it for me, you know, basically. Now, convenience stores in Massachusetts, uh, mini marts, strip marts, not strip clubs, not strip clubs, uh, but, uh, you know, strip marts, like mini marts, convenience stores, gas stations, uh, liquor stores, um, basically the gas station cigars are kept behind the counter, so uh, with the cigarettes. Uh, they're not off display, which basically means they can display them. Oh, he's farted. Yeah, big ass farts for life. Um, they're uh, basically, um, they're displayed, but they are... Uh, behind the counter. So uh, essentially, uh, if you go in there, regardless of how old you are, you have to ask for them behind the counter. So uh, again, people think that's only in Canada and Europe and Australia. Nope, it's in the United States also. There are states where there, the tobacco is is no cell service. So uh, the only place around me that has a walk-in humidor is the typical ass liquor store in town. That place has a walk-in humidor. However, technically, you're supposed to be in the walk-in humidor with an employee. An employee is supposed to be with you in the walk-in humidor because of the self-service law. So, essentially, that's the deal regarding self-service in Massachusetts, is essentially everything is behind the counter. So, and there's no self-service or like, you know, like cigarette vending machines, anything like that. That's been banned for years. So banned for a long ass time. So, and uh, yeah, so I've actually only been in two walk-in humidors in my life. One was obviously the typical ass liquor store in town. That place has a walk-in humidor. And the second place was down Cape Cod at a cigar bar. Basically, that place had a walk-in humidor, but the guy had to be in the walk-in humidor with me. So...
But yeah, so uh, there is no self-service of, of tobacco in Massachusetts or Massachusetts. So uh, it is all behind the counter. So uh, and obviously anyone who looks under 30 gets carded. So uh, or they're supposed they're supposed to card anyone who looks under 30. So uh, they're supposed to automatically card somebody who looks under 30. So uh, and a lot of places will scan your ID electronically. So. Uh, Anyway, so yeah, I'm looking forward to going to my tobacco shop, <clears throat> my tobacco shop, uh, get a couple of nice big ass cigars, the big ass cigar for life. And uh, yeah, so anyway, have a nice night, YouTubers. Pretty fucking cool. Bye.